Hey there, welcome back to my channel, Teacher Chanel here. Today we're going to talk about some ways that you can keep your vibration high, okay? So, I always talk about frequency and vibration here on this channel, and those two things are very, very important, right? Keeping your vibe high, keeping your energy high. But, you know, at times people are like, well, it's not really realistic to stay happy and bubbly all the time which is absolutely true, okay? Um, but it's not about not ever being upset because we are all going to be upset at some point in our lives. We do not live in this world by ourselves, so we can't really control what other people do. We can only control us, right? The most important thing to um, hold on to is the fact that you can, like, bad energy is a choice um negative energy is a choice being upset is a choice okay so no matter what somebody does to you you know you handle it however you want to handle it you want to curse them out punch them in the face i don't recommend that like whatever um you deal with it and then you move on right so it's not about always being happy all the time and never being upset it's about knowing how to make that shift from one of anger and being upset, pissed off and low vibe to one of high vibe, happiness, and joy and all this good stuff, right? So people want to know how do I stay high vibe all the time, okay? You can't stay high vibe all the time, but there are ways and things that you can do to instantly raise your vibration when you need to, okay? So one of the things so I'm going to share maybe four or five of my favorite things to do to shift my energy back to one of high frequency, okay? Before I get into that, let's kind of touch on why frequency matters. Um, if you know anything about the law of attraction, I'm just going to assume you don't, okay? Maybe you're new here. Maybe you're new to this whole law of attraction positive you know this whole new thing right maybe this is new to you so um the law of attraction states that like attracts like okay so if you have a person place or thing vibrating on frequency five then frequency five people places and things is the only you know um a level that one could manifest on right so if you are a low vibrational being and you are attracting low vibrational beings, uh, you know, by way of partners, you know, life partners, love, whatever you jump off partners, like whatever, right? And you're like, dang, why do I keep attracting these busters? Why do I keep attracting these men that don't have no money? These men that are abusive, these men with all these kids, like why do I keep attracting all of these, you know, these bum ass dudes, right? Uh, okay, look, not, it's not me. I didn't make the rules. <laughs> okay, so don't be thumbs and down this video and cussing me out in the comments. It's, I didn't make the rules. Sorry. But something inside of you attracted that individual. Does that mean that you're a bum? No. That's not what that means. That just means that on uh, you guys are on the same vibrational frequency. Okay? So let me give you another example, <clears throat> which is the one that I like to use, which a lot of law of attraction teachers use, right? And that is one of, of talking about the radio or referencing the radio. So if you are wanting to listen to 102.5 in Houston, okay, you want to get the music, you want to get the, the hosts that are on that station, you're not going to find them by going to 97.9, okay? It's two different frequencies. It's on two different levels. So in order to get to 102.5 and listen to their music and their content, you're gonna have to turn the dial, right, to align your radio with their uh, towers that emit their radio waves, right? You're gonna have to align your radio with, with their station, yes? right so it's it's really no different when it comes to 
attracting the things that you want. Everything is on a particular frequency. The money that you want is on a particular frequency. The car that you want, the house that you want, the man or woman that you want is on a particular frequency, right? And you have to align, get in tune with said frequency. Now what frequency they're on, we don't really know, but there are ways to align uh, that I don't think I'm talking about in this video. I think it's gonna be another one, but in this one, we're just gonna talk about keeping your vibe high. So, anytime you've had a bad day, usually it starts out bad really early in the day. You start out by, you know, first thing you do, hopefully, is take a shower. And maybe you get into the shower and the water starts off nice and warm and toasty and hot. And then the water all of a sudden goes cold. And no matter what you do, it's just cold as heck. And you're in the shower, you're freezing, you pissed off because... The water's cold. Who wants to take a cold shower? Nobody. Then you go into your kitchen and say, okay, this day, you know, we're we going to fix this day. Right here, right now, I need a cup of coffee. But then you realize you don't have no more coffee. Okay. Then you're walking out the door and the heel or your shoe breaks. Okay. Then you get into your car and you're driving down the road to get to work and then a tire will. It's like a domino effect, right? Something, the reason all of these other things happen is because you didn't fix your frequency from the morning when you were taking a cold and shower, right? You allowed that energy to stay around. You didn't do anything to try to change it. You didn't do anything to fix it. Therefore, you couldn't have your coffee, you broke your heel, your tire blew out, and it was just a whole mess of a day. So anytime something negative happens, something happens to piss you off, make you sad or whatever, um, with, you know, there are some things that you just have to kind of grieve and you have to get that out. But I'm just talking about the regular everyday, everyday stuff. Um, you need to check yourself, right? And I've talked about this before too. So the water in the shower is cold and you're upset the second you get into your mirror and you're drying off and you're getting dressed that is when you need to make that at atmospheric shift is that a word atmospheric is that a word i don't know it sounds like one sound good to me but y'all know what i'm saying that's when you need to make that shift get into the mirror and you speak to your day you declare what's going to happen and whatever negative energy is trying to impede you and hinder you for this day it is not going to happen this is when you get into the mode of shifting, okay? And when you shift your energy, you raise your vibration, and therefore you're not even in the, the field of attracting a broken heel, a flattened tire, okay? Or, you know, coffee that, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got no coffee, right? So anyway, a few things that you all can do that I really, really love to do to raise my vibe is number one, listen to music. Y'all know, if you don't know, I'm going to tell you, I love Usher. <clears throat> and I subscribe to Amazon Music for $9.99 a month. I think that's what it is. Just so I can hear all things Usher. I don't want to hear Trey songs. I don't want to hear Chris Brown. You know I love Chris Brown. I don't want to hear R. Kelly. I don't want to hear nobody but Usher. And you know in order for that to happen, you got to subscribe to Amazon Music. Okay? Uh, music is one of the quickest ways to raise your vibration. You got to make sure you listen to the right types of music. Because some of the music lets other energies into your space that you don't necessarily want. But okay, right? Um, so that's number one. Number two is movement. Uh, my mentor always says the, mu the, the miracle, the miracle happens in the movement, right? And so just moving, I can't dance, I have zero rhythm zero coordination i think i have two or three left feet you know what i'm saying like i don't know how to dance it's just me and just didn't work out that way for me but just move do whatever 
you feel like doing in the moment you know what i mean get all of that stagnant energy a lot of us sit around i have a desk job uh, some of you may have desk jobs where you're not really moving that much throughout the day and that energy is becoming stale and stagnant. So if you want to um, uh, get out some negative energy, if you're really tense in your shoulders and in your back, you need to get up and move. Okay, <clears throat> exercise. I'm talking to myself while I look at an elliptical over there that I just refuse to get on. Uh, but movement exercising dancing walking running that sort of thing to get your energy moving okay so the first one is music the second one is movement the third thing that i would recommend to raise your vibration is visualizing i freaking love to visual aka daydreaming it's really the same thing as long as you're daydreaming around the right thing because some of us tend to um, daydream about uh, not being able to pay your bills you know things being late things you know cars getting repoed eviction notices being put in your door pink slips coming in the mail because you can't pay your bills on time you tend to meditate that is a form of meditation on the negative but we need to learn how to meditate visualize and daydream about the positive so a lot of people want to know i know i'm going to go into more detail in the alignment video but a lot of people want to know how do i align with x y and z the things that i want right you daydream about it <clears throat> you daydream about it you keep it right in front of you this is why vision boards are so powerful okay you have to keep it right there in front of you all the time and one of the best ways to keep it in front of you is to see it in your mind that saying goes if you you have to um, see it in your mind before you can hold it in your hand all right and so and a lot of people don't really know how to visualize okay i get it but it's no different from daydream there is a difference there's daydreaming where you're just kind of leisurely thinking about X, Y, and Z, and then there's visualizing. That's intentional. We tend to kind of go off into a deep abyss where we're um, daydreaming. We're not really intentionally. It's kind of like an unconscious thing, right? But when you're visualizing, you are consciously thinking about focusing on the things that you want. Okay. So um, let's say you want a house. Okay, and there's a particular house that you want. Um, you should know where, where that house is. You should know this. You should know every detail. Whether it's a house, an apartment, whatever. You should know every detail about it. You should know exactly where it is. What's the address? What is the neighborhood like? Who are the neighbors? Like you got a low key stalk. And this is how you kind of stay in the vibrational field of this home. Okay, the only way you're going to be able to visualize. Um, about it and really stay connected to it is you have to actually go and experience said house okay um, so <clears throat> you go and you tour the house you take video I've talked about this before you take pictures and that way if you start to forget days start to pass and you kind of start to forget oh I don't remember was the living room on the left or was it on the right side you know um, the bathroom how exactly was it set up mm, don't really remember this is why video is important and you watch that video over and over and over again and you eventually burn it into your brain into your mind and then you are able to visualize um and think about this where no matter where you are and so i've become really really good at the visualization process i'm able to visualize with my eyes open um, I have I can have a full-on conversation with a person but still be you know visualizing it in my mind because I'm I've just practiced it that much okay so visualization will get you in the vibe because you're thinking about the thing that you want and you're getting really really excited about it. it keeps you excited right and it keeps your vibration really high at the same time okay so music visualization and movement all right something else that we that i do to keep my vibe high now this is something 
that may not resonate with most of you and it's cool but it's something that i do when i find myself getting kind of down and really low around that time of the month my energy takes a huge dip and um it's like depression is knocking on my door like my emotions and hormones take a huge hit around that time of month so for about a week i'm all out of whack and so uh, one thing that i do to keep my energy as high as i possibly can is i watch 90s television and <sighs> what does that look like 90s television uh is the cosby show i don't care what y'all say about bill cosby okay he's still america's father don't go there the cosby show um moesha was 2000s right still love that um what's the name of the other one a different world um dang i can't think of no now oh family matters fresh prince like those love 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 all those shows so anytime you a person that knows me in real life will see that i'm watching the cosby show fresh prince or whatever martin um usually there's something going on to where my energy is really low and i just want to laugh you know and i just want to kind of reminisce about when i was a teenager and i didn't have any bills i didn't really have a care in the world aside from my child that i had at 15. uh you know that sort of thing so that <clears throat> watching childhood shows just kind of taking me back um that really does help it raises my vibe it kicks my butt back into gear all of that so 90s television love 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 and the last thing that i'm going to recommend now there are many things that you can do to raise your vibe but you know i'm just sharing a couple here the last thing that i would recommend is what are called miracle beats or binaural beats okay and these are the um the the instrumentals that are here on youtube uh 432 hertz uh 585 uh, i can't think of any more right off the top of my head but you can kind of just search that here in youtube and it's just instrumentals and it's, some of them have um affirmations embedded uh what is that called subconscious um training subconscious mind training embedded in the music you don't hear it with your your conscious mind but you hear it with your subconscious mind and those are really good for reprogramming your um your subconscious and and those really do help to raise your energy however calm you have to be careful and mindful of the, the ones that you're listening to. Make sure that they feel good. Like if it, if it doesn't feel good, if you're like, mm, this sounds weird. Something about this one I don't really like, don't listen to it. Because, you know, while you would like to think um, and trust that the the um, subconscious mind training is and affirmations are positive, they ain't always positive and they may be training your mind for something else okay so just be mindful of that um there are some that i listen to i think there are two or three that i listen to all the time if i recall if i remember i will put them in the description um there are a few that i really do like um but i would recommend that as well especially at night time there are some that are like 9 10 11 12 hours long and you can play it really really low it doesn't have to be loud at all your subconscious mind can hear it um no matter how low it is as long as it's playing and it's audible um not on mute basically um your subconscious mind will hear it and that's something that i would recommend um you do <clears throat> Um, every day um, you can also listen to books at night like think or grow rich or um, my mind is going blank uh, what's another one the science of getting rich those types of books you can they're they're right here on YouTube uh, low and slow and um, subconsciously you are hearing it and absorbing the information now you may not remember it the next day you may not have any uh, memory whatsoever of hearing any of it if you start to read it like it may not you may not it may not sound familiar to you 
but subconsciously if you listen to it enough repetition is everything and if you start to listen to it enough you'll see that your habits start to change um, and you start to pay attention to your intuition more your energy starts to increase and you become interested in you know um, being better with your money or you know entrepreneurship or whatever so consciously you may not realize that it's working but on a subconscious level it definitely is working so those are the what five four or five ways that i would recommend that you um start to implement to really raise your vibration to keep you on the frequency or to get you on the frequency of the things that you actually need want and desire um we'll talk more about alignment in another video ways that you can align um, and stay aligned but those are just a few ways that I would recommend um, right now right now so thank you guys so much for watching I hope that this helped please share with a friend thumbs up this video and subscribe to the channel again my name is TJ Chanel and I'll see you in the next one bye